Okay, so here we are at CH Smith Marine and we're one of Australia's largest independent marine retailers. And we stock all the major brands. We keep Garmin, Raymarine, Lowrance, Simrad, B&G, Hummingbird, just to mention a few. And today we're going to be talking about transducers. And the most common form of transducer that's installed on a boat is a transom mount transducer. And every manufacturer generally has his own generic brand of transducer. A transfer mount transducer, as the name implies, is installed on the back of the boat. And where to install it is probably the most important thing that you need to consider. Because what does defeat a transducer? Well, it's air bubbles. And air bubbles coming past the transducer will cause the signal to be interrupted. And so while it might work fine at trolling speed, or at still, when you're underway, more turbulence will cause the bubbles to come past the transducer and interrupt your signal. And so the next most popular type of transducer is a through-hull transducer. And through-hull means that it actually protrudes through the hull. In this case, we call this a flush mount. In this case, we call it a wet mount. And in this case, we call this a fairing mount. So which transducer would I choose? Typically, a fiberglass boat will choose a bronze or a stainless steel flush mount, a wooden boat will use a fairing blocked transducer and a aluminium boat would again use a stainless steel or a uh, resin cased transducer. The next type of transducer we're going to talk about is in hull transducers and as the name implies the transducer is installed inside the hull and the main advantage of this is the owner hasn't had to cut a hole in the hull to put the transducer through, as, it, as he did with the last one. Some of the transducers can be, have their shape cut to suit the dead rise of the hull, and other transducers have an angle already built into it so that that can be moved to adjust to the dead rise of the hull. At CH Smith Marine we have many varieties of transducers and on the table here we have a sample selection of six of them. Starting with sonar, which is a dual frequency transducer, down and sonar, which is dual frequency sonar and down imaging, three in one, which is down imaging, side imaging and sonar, side and down imaging only, 3D. Now 3D is interesting because that does normal side imaging but in a 3D format as well as down. Both these two transducers would be installed along with a normal transfer mount or through hull sonar transducer and forward looking. And as the name implies here, instead of looking down or side or sonar, we're actually looking forward. So when we think about selecting a transducer, thinking about the depth in which we're going to operate, is an important question to answer. And typically in Victoria we have two fisheries. We have a shallow water fishery which is looking for snapper and whiting in the bay and then we want to go offshore and we want to fish down to the shelf. Making a selection of beam angles will greatly influence your success. We have published on our website two informative articles, what transducer is best for my boat and a transducer installation guide. So I commend that to you. Always remember that the transducer is just there to help you. Don't stress about it. We're here to help. And always remember, life is better with a boat. <laughs>